Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about using arrays in C++. Now, a lot of times when we're writing programs in C++, we're going to be dealing with large amounts of data. And one way that we can keep track of and manage that data is by using something called a variable. But the one thing about variables is that generally you can only store one value inside of a variable. So if I create like a character variable, I can only store one character in there. If I create an integer variable, I can only store one integer in there. A lot of times though in C++, we're gonna be dealing with huge amounts of data um, and that's where arrays can come in. Array is basically a container, a lot like a variable, but Unlike a variable, arrays can hold multiple data values. So an array could hold like a list of, you know, thousands or millions of pieces of information. And generally we could put, you know, pieces of information that are related to each other in some way inside of the same array. So I'm going to show you guys how we can create arrays and how we can work with them. You create an array a lot like you create a normal variable. So the first thing we have to do is tell C++ what type of data we want to store inside of the array. So I'm just going to make an array of integers. So I can just say int. And again, just like a variable, we're going to give this a name. So I could say like lucky nums, right? And this would be an array of lucky numbers. Now, here's where this gets different from a variable. When we're creating an array, we always want to put an open and close square bracket after the name. So after lucky nums, we're gonna put this open and closed square bracket. And that basically tells C++, okay, they wanna create an array. So they wanna be able to store multiple pieces of information inside of this container. Now I'm just gonna say equals. And one, the easiest way to create an array is just to assign it some default information right off the bat. And I can just make an open and closed curly bracket. And inside of here, I can just start typing out the information that I wanna store. So let's say I wanna store like a list of numbers. I could say like four, 8, 15, 16, uh, I don't know, 23, 42, right? So I'm storing all of these numbers inside of this single container. So unlike a variable where we can only store one number, now I'm storing a whole list of numbers. And we would refer to these as elements in the list. So four would be the first element in the list. And then we would delineate the next element using this comma. So now we have the second element, eight, 15, 16, et cetera. So these are all gonna be elements inside of our array. Now, down here, I'm gonna show you guys how we can access individual elements. So I'm just gonna say C out. And let's say that I wanted to access one of these particular elements. So let's say I wanted to access like this first element here inside the array. Because what good is the array if we can't access the information inside of it, right? I can just say lucky nums, and I can make an open and close square bracket. Now inside of this open and close square bracket, I can put the index of the element inside the array that I want to access. So if I want to access this first element in the array, I just need to put its index in here. That's going to be zero. So now when I run my program, you'll see we're printing out four. We're printing out that first element in the array. If I wanted to get access to this 15, it's going to be zero, one, two. It's going to be at index position two inside of this array. So now when I run my program, we get that 15. So if you haven't caught on by now, when we index these arrays, we start with index position zero. So I would say that four is at index position zero, eight is at index position one, 15 is at index position two, 16, three, et cetera. So we would always say that the first element in the array is actually at index position zero. And if you're familiar with how strings are indexed in C++, it's the same exact thing. So that's how we can access an individual element in the array. We can also modify an element in the array. So I could say like um, lucky nums and like, let's say I wanted to change the first element. I could say lucky num zero and I could give this a different value. So I could set this equal to 19, for example. Now down here, when I print out lucky num zero, I'm actually gonna be printing out and actually typo, whoops. I'm actually gonna be printing out um, 19. So you can see we were able to modify one of the um, indexes inside of that array. Another thing we can do with these arrays is I can give them a size. So normally if I just create the array like this where I just say int lucky nums in an empty square brackets, the array is only gonna be able to store the elements that I declare over here. But a lot of times when you're making these arrays, you might not know what all the elements should be. So over here I could put in a number, like I could say like 20. 
And essentially what I'm doing here is I'm telling uh, C++ that I want to be able to store 20 elements inside of this lucky nums array. So over here, I don't have 20 elements yet. I only have um, elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what I could actually do is I could add more elements into here. So I could say like lucky nums 6 or lucky nums 10, and I could give this a value. So I could give lucky nums 10 the value of 100. And now down here, if we print it out lucky nums 10, it's going to be printing out 100, as you can see. Um, another thing you can do is just not give this any info right up front. So I could get rid of all of these, and I could just put a semicolon here. And then down here, I can give all these different values. So I could say lucky num zero is equal to 100. And now I can you know, essentially just assign all the elements um, after we declare it. So like I said, a lot of times you might not know exactly what's going to go in the array when you declare it. And so you can just basically tell C how many um, items you want to hold in there. And then you can just, you know, fill the, the array up as you go. But that's really the basics of arrays and arrays are very simple. So this is a very simple way to store multiple pieces of information. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.